Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. It felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. And now our kill of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee tonight. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got to beat on him. And you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Nice inside kick. Targeting the body with the kick now. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Man, that left hand is money in the bank, and he led with it there. He led with it from the backside. He threw that left hand. I wonder what he's trying to set up to follow as the fight goes on. Throwing that jab, no good. Stupid shoot. Big power shot there. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Now lands a kick to the body. into the rim. Great body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Good stick. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Lee is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, he 
staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Good straight hand there by Lee. Oh! Huge kick to the head. start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Kick there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's gotta hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, a big kick lands flush. Back up, 20 seconds left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds here. Oh. Five minutes in the books. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready. Ready. Second round here. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, could get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. Well, we're in the clinch, but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Ooh. Just out of range with that strike. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee. Over three minutes to go in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh! Oh, he might get finished here. Oh! With authority, the body. Oh, nice right here. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now. 
because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you, let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. Under two minutes to go in the round. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. damaging kick that lands. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Beautiful block. Back kick there. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Well, there it is again. He seems to be fighting through the damage pretty well, but even if you're blind, you can see all the redness now. Well, you can see it starting to accumulate. You can see it starting to take an effect on him. For as tough as he is, for as good of a poker face as he has, you can still see it. And right now, he's got to address it because we're about to get to a point where he can't even do anything to stay in this fight. Right. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Just misses with the straight right. He's got that single collar tie. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, look at that leg kick. Round three next. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big shot to the head. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Nice leg kick. Nice punch to the head. Man, that cut has really opened up. Another one landed flush by Lee. Big land there. Push kick there to the bottom. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he's got him hurt bad. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored. Oh, he's hurt bad. Soften him up. Now we're going. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really started to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect 
that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no... All right, so the ref is going to step in here, yes, and call on the doctor to look at that nose job. Might need one after this <laughs> fight. He might, because his face looks so different. He's unrecognizable from yesterday. The blood has really become a problem for him. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this Great point. Fight. Let's see how Great. he deals with this bad cut. Good. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely. And I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because... <laughs> his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off. The uppercut's there, go! Need some work, guys. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the towel, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. When we get to the stool, if we get to the stool, they're going to look at that cut and they're going to stop this fight. Because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed him down. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Under a minute to go. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? Well, I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts.